So I've been working on this guitar now for about seven months. And uh, it was three coats of traffic yellow paint, kind of like this Mr. Good Bar. And I had to sand it all down and put seven coats of clear coat on it and fill it all up. I had replaced the pickups with uh, split hot rails. I don't know if you can see that online. I had to get a pick guard for it, which is an actual fender pick guard. This is a 1960s Japanese knockoff of a Fender Telecaster. It's called a Delta. Um, it's actually a not a solid body guitar. It's a plywood guitar. Um, and it's about 20 ply here and there, something like that. So you couldn't sand down very well. I took a look through a guitar player repair guide book. Ta-da! Everybody has one of these, which wasn't entirely helpful but it did help on some things. New strings lead nines. It has a three-way switch. Uh, it took a lot to figure out how to wire the hot rails as well as the humbucker um, and then how to rewire the original potentiometers the original, poten uh, original potentiometers because whoever wired it rewired it at one point in their life and didn't wire it correctly. The potentiometers still work they're still circa 1967 and they still put out decent sound. I ran some tests on it to make sure that they were correct in every way. Um, they're both 500 uh, uh, pots and uh, the three-way switch doesn't match anything online. It's some Japanese three-way switch. I don't know if it was an industrial switch or what it was, but it's got uh, six poles to it. So all the diagrams online are for four pole or for uh, uh, eight poles for a four-way switch. Every time you look at it, even the three ways show eight poles between them. So there's a lot of grounds and a lot of things that have to go between. I'm not going to pull it apart again so you can see it. Um, there's a couple resistors in between the uh, volume and the tone. Uh, I went out and I got some grounding tape. That would be this stuff, and I insulated all the cavities inside uh, here. Now these hot rails are bigger than a normal lipstick tube single coil pickup that goes up here towards the neck and um, uh, I didn't have to route anything out but I did have to mess up the pick guard just a little bit which you can't tell. I decided to leave this roughed in. This is not like design. This is just, it's if you could see it closely, it's just rough sanded and then clear coated and I, I just looked at it as, well you know it's a cheap working man's guitar. I did everything so that basically um, this thing wouldn't feed back like all guitars do that are really cheap. The result is I can turn up my amplifier. It's got a little echo to the amp. I'm running a PV multi effects amp. The result is all you hear is a little bit of buzz, no squeals, no nothing from the uh, coils at all, which is pretty darn cool. I set the neck following various things online and uh, ended up putting a piece of sandpaper in between the neck and the body uh, was one tip. There was a lot of others, but I figured, you know what, I would try it just for the simple fact that this is a cheap guitar and it's kind of my first build. I've raised the, the uh, uh, pickups as high as I could get to get close to the string, and then I had to sit here and work with these sliding rails uh, and get them adjusted as much as I could. I read a lot about Buddy Guy and the Telecaster he does and how he sets up some of this action. It's closer to his style. Um, the neck pickup is a little far away from the strings, but it still does pretty good. Um, this is the single coil in the, uh, the bottom position. <laughs> This is the split between both of them. And then the hot rails. All between them, I don't have any resistance, I don't have any problems, I don't have a bunch of feedback. This is with the tone all the way down. You can hear it, it just, to me, it just kind of muffles it. It doesn't really, doesn't really change too much. They're not pull knobs. 
the volume does work. It took wiring, a lot of rewiring to get it to work correctly because whoever wired it before, it was hot all the time. So no matter if you turned it up or turned it down, it was still on. And things, multiple wires were originally grounded to this pickup. I really like the neck pickup. I know they're, they're kind of flat notes, but... Pretty decent for a uh, free guitar. Uh, $15, $15, $7 for the strings. Um, I don't know. Probably about three inches of this crap. Uh, lead free solder. Fluxed everything, tinned everything, did everything I could. Ends up not being too bad. Um, it could probably use more coats of clear coat. Um, or some actual guitar polish or something to rub in there. I chose spray coat instead of uh, lacquer to paint on because it would fill all the little dimples and everything throughout it. Um, a lot of parts won't fit for this. There is a crack between the neck and the, and the body right in here. There's not much I can do about it. It was hidden by the original paint, but for a um, free guitar or a $40 guitar, it's not too bad. Thank <laughs> you.